Hi guys, Jonathan Chown here with Jay Chown Golf at Crondon Park Golf Club in Essex. And if you have ever wondered why people or tour players with short swings like your John Rahm, your Tony Finau can still hit the ball miles, you might have someone at your golf club that hits it miles with a short backswing. We're going to tell you exactly how to do that properly because you're right by what you're thinking. Most times if you shorten your golf swing, you will hit the ball shorter for sure. It's almost guaranteed. You might hit the club face more often in the centre, but you will hit the ball shorter but we're going to discuss exactly what you can do to maximize your short backswing and this is really one where you could even be hitting it even further from before because you'll be more efficient in your golf swing doing so so short backswing here guys we know just like i put a video up there of how to make your backswing nice and short and make it consistently because there are ways that you can shorten your backswing and actually do a terrible job of it so i'll put the video card up there for that how to do it properly but when we're at our short backswing, if we leave everything the same, so just a shortened version, we might have a better chance to hit the middle for sure, but we are just generally going to be hitting the golf ball shorter. So how does John Rahm do it? How does Tony Finau do it? I'll really talk more about John Rahm because Tony Finau is an athletic freak. He can really just hit the ball miles anyway. As soon as he gets to a long backswing, he swings at over 130 miles an hour, way faster than Bryson swings it, he does actually. So let's say John Rahm, for example, a very extreme short swing where he's more around almost, he's at bicep area of his right arm around at his top of the backswing. But this is where John Rahm really excels at because he has a really good quality lower body movement. And this is really what this is about, guys. You need to maximize your lower body movement to the nth degree. You really need to have a quality lower body movement to be able to hit the ball far with a backswing, short backswing. But we can all learn to do it. So if we look at John Rahm when he's swinging, he'll be getting up to the top of his backswing, his short backswing. You'll see he'll be lifting his left heel and you'll see with John Rahm, it's just even before he feels like starts his downswing, his left heel plants back onto the ground. So he essentially starts his downswing with his lower body before the club even starts the downswing. So before his upper body even starts to go into the downswing, his lower body is already moving into it. So that's him moving his pressure, moving his power earlier. That's him maximizing what he put, puts force-wise into the ground. He can maximize the power he's putting into the ground to do this, guys. So really, even though we've got a short backswing, we can still get more turn, just like what John Rahm's doing. He still has great backswing turn because that left heel lifts. That left heel lifts, what does that do? That frees up hip turn. And that also, when we're freeing up hip turn, that will free up upper body turn. Because you can see here, I can get, well, I mean, I'm not flexible at all, but I can get a decent turn with a very short arm swing. It's exactly what John Rahm does. And then it's priming us to move early and get on that left side, get our power into that ground. So then we can really maximize the amount of force we're putting through the ground. So easy, simple thing to do here, guys. We'll be doing some nice practice swings to start off with. I'm really feeling like, see how there I'm moving into my left side. I'm really lifting my heel, slamming my heel down before I even get to the start of my downswing. So really, really getting there. And if I really, really whip through it, making the fastest point of my golf swing past the golf ball, I can really get a nice whip through there to where I won't be really hitting it that much shorter than my actual full swing. My swing's shorter as well. So I really want you guys to feel right, slamming that left foot down before you even get to the top of your backswing. That's even a good little drill exercise there to do, see? I'm um, just, as soon as I'm getting right about to completion of that top of the backswing, I'm really jamming my left foot onto the ground, my left heel, getting my pressure onto my left side. And I can feel, definitely, I can feel pressure in my left leg, that's for sure, but that energy moving into it, which means club head speed. We wanna still have that club head speed. So let's hit one here, really exaggerated, where I'm really forcing my weight into my left side, slamming that left heel down before I even complete my backswing with my upper body. That's amazing at how far that ball has gone for such a short backswing. I was hitting some balls before I was warming up today to film this, and that's gone further than my full swings. So that really tells you how far you can hit the golf ball. I mean, I'm hitting an A-time. It's very cold out here at the moment in the UK. So it's only three degrees Celsius about that. Feeling colder with the wind. This A-time with range balls should only be going 150. That carried about 160. So very, very good for me. Really making sure. I'm slamming that left heel down before I'm even getting to the top of my backswing. Almost just like we can do little exercises here. Imagine 
almost you're throwing a ball. You're always going to be planting your left foot, if you're obviously right-handed, into that. You're going to plant that left foot down before you even get to the top of your kind of backswing for your throw. Same thing. That's really, you have to maximise these things for a short swing to work. Exactly what you've got to do, guys. Really begin into that left side early. So here we go. One more there. Get into that left side early. Again, God, I might play like that normally. That's gone... Wow, that's gone a really good distance again. It's me maximising my ground force. Because if I'm going to be getting into that left side early, I'm going to be pushing back. The ground's going to push me back up again early. I might even get this kind of almost Bubba Watson-y type of move back there. That's absolutely fine. That's you pushing back out the ground again. If we put force into the ground, the ground's going to push us back up again. Think of someone vertical jumping. They're not just going to get down here and stop. You've got to go down into the ground to go back up. We're getting down into the ground to go back up again there, guys. But really doing that, we're priming it for happen by getting that left heel on the ground early. You've got to do that if you want to make sure you're really maximising your force into that ground. So here we go. One more. Wow. You can see how much force I pull into the ground there from doing that. I almost lost my balance. So really easy one to do here, guys. I mean, this isn't the longest video in the world, that's for sure. Because it's really, this is the main meat of it, is if we can get you to that left side, planting early, lifting that left heel, slamming it down early before we even complete the top of our backswing. We won't be rushing our swing, that's for sure. We'd actually be moving it in a great sequence. This will help a lot of you guys for slicing the golf ball as well. Help you really straighten up your shot. But we're maximising your club head speed. You'll have sore legs by the end of your practice session, that's for sure but you'll be hitting it a hell of a lot further. That's how you can maximize a short backswing, guys. Really get on that if this is really where you want to go so you don't have the worry of going, if I'm gonna shorten my swing, am I gonna shorten my distance? Yes, you are, but if you do this, no, you're not, you could even hit it further. So guys, if you like this video, really nice and simple one, please press that like button. Helps my channel out a ton, and if you want more golf instruction like this, click that subscribe button. Three videos every single week, just like this. Nice and easy to understand golf instruction. All questions you've always had, but really broken down so you can understand getting to the meat of it. So guys, if you want to make sure you're hitting the ball further with a shorter backswing, use that ground and you'll be doing exactly like John Rahm does.